everybody. Uh, interceptor here, but interceptor not there. And by that I mean... <clears throat> Um, for some reason my video is not showing up, so I've got to do a little bit of... <sighs> Sorry, uh, a little bit of troubleshooting here. to try and make it work on my end. Ah, there we go. But now it's blank over there. Fascinating. Fascinating. So this is gonna be a fun and exciting adventure. Oh? Why did you do that? I have to give my friend the link for this. Why? Oof. Goodness, that looks terrible. <clears throat> Here, resolution. Because this is what I had to do with my PlayStation. What is this? No. No. TV resolution. Why does it do that? Ooh, look at that data. It doesn't matter. Okay. Um, yeah, my TV might just uh, be cranky about this. So I'm just going to have to look at the computer. <clears throat> Not ideal, but I will troubleshoot another time when I am not filming. Uh, um, make sure you're quiet. Make sure my phone's quiet. Actually, my phone doesn't need to be quiet. It'll be loud and obnoxious. Alright. <clears throat> now that I've troubleshot, for seven minutes. Super fun. Super fun. And I have no music, which is just gonna drive me crazy. Ah, I'll just live with it. This is this is what we're living with now. This is not my ideal. Alright, uh, 
Um, gotta get my little Pokeball. Best part. This is gonna drive me crazy, actually. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Don't have a stroke, please. That'd be very, very unpleasant. Okay. Um, I'm doing a little bit of troubleshooting because this is my first time. Hey, Ryan! This is my first time streaming from the Switch and my TV is not having it. Um, which is a bummer for obvious reasons. Oh, I know what I can do. <sighs> Figuring out some sort of jury rig system that will work. Because there's no way I'm going to sit here for a couple hours playing. Out uh, music. Alright. And thank you, Ryan. Uh, it means a lot. I kind of, like, don't believe it yet. I don't know if you're going to hear the echo... So, this is not an ideal system that I have going here. But. Okay. Uh, so, I've been playing Pokemon. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. Sorry. <laughs> the Switch and my TV are not cooperating. But as long as it looks good on your end, I'm going to make it work. And I think it is. Uh, so I do have the Pokeball Plus, and um, got my Pokeball. Isn't it cool? I still have to figure out all the buttons though because it really throws me off again. I'm gonna move this camera because again I'm looking now at the computer that's streaming it and not at my TV because the switch and my TV are not being friends um, all right thankfully it's Pokemon it's not a super complicated game so I've been playing for not too long yet uh, I've captured nine Pokemon. I got a Pikachu, which was exciting. Um, 
Yes, Ryan, my Eevee is Shadow and I am Interceptor. Um, yeah, Mr. Cunningham, it is strange. Um, and my PlayStation 4 had the same issue, but I was able to get it to work. But the couple buttons that I was hitting was kind of forcing me to decide if the video was going to show up here or on the TV. And I have a feeling if I just kind of shut the whole system down and restart it, it would be fine. But I didn't realize the problem until I was already streaming. So here we are. You guys will keep me company. I know you will. Uh, I got this bell sprout. I think I took them all out of my party. Eevee! Uh, and then my little Mew. So cute. It is. Reverse Final Fantasy VI. Uh, and I love that I'm just... Go back to here. I'm just hanging out with an Eevee on my head and a Mew following me. Right? I don't... <laughs> it just cracks me up every time because there's a Mew. So I'm just starting out my adventure. I did deliver something to Professor Oak. My TV is trying to pick up the signal. Every so often it's like... Phew. Mew is so cute. I loved in Pokemon Snap um, getting the picture of Mew. That was, that was a highlight of that game. But I do have, as you can tell, I have the Eevee version. And I actually, I was going to get Pokemon, or the Let's Go Pikachu, because Yellow was my first Pokemon. Uh, but then Mr. Cunningham got Let's Go Pikachu. And I was like, well, I have to get something different than Mr. Cunningham so we can trade Pokemon. So here we go. Let's get, oh. I didn't see that bell sprout. Oh, it's a bell sprout. My goodness. All right. Ready. What? You jerk. You're a plant. What do you even know? I don't know if I'm actually doing this right, but. I don't usually have to, uh... There you go. Pokey trade! Yeah, so... What?! You're a little obnoxious plant! Choo. Then you do the little hit. Choo. Choo. There we go. Uh, how, how far have you gotten, Mr. Cunningham? Out of bells, bro. I love the sound effects this thing makes. This makes me so happy. And I think somewhere on the internet, my friend Andy is watching, so I'm gonna give a shout out to Andy as well, even though he's, um, as far as I know, not signing up for Twitch and will not be commenting. I'll say hi, Andy. And if his daughters are watching, hi, Andy's daughters. Yeah, I don't know why that bell spot was just being a jerk. Death grip. I love Mew. I just love that I have a random Mew in my party. Just starting out. Got a Mew. And of course, I'm wearing my wrist strap. Gonna be safe. Alright. Get this Pokeball. Yeah, so we're like pretty much in the same place. What does this sign say? Trainer tips. Oh, that's boring, but okay. Oh, there's my friend Andy saying something. Andy said hi. I'm gonna say that he said it to you guys too. <clears throat> A wild Pidgey. <laughs> Thanks, thanks for the, uh, commercial, Ryan. Uh, yeah, if you follow me and you follow the Nintendo Power Couple, you can watch it 
probably with your daughters. Maybe not my channel. Sometimes my chat gets a little bit rowdy. But the NPC chat is the best. <laughs> That's why I got auto mod for. Shadow wants to move, learn double kick. Yeah, that sounds good. I'm getting old mood. I should probably move my head because. Nope. Um, here we go. For now, we'll move there. Right before change. You are in marketing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm moving my head. I'm gonna get rid of Tail Whip. Because this is a thing that I never do. I should probably make myself smaller too. There's not a super great place to put the webcam. I guess it does have like a little bit of a black edge, doesn't it? Do 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 do. We're just gonna keep keep messing with all the things. that I have to kind of like look at the final product you still got black oh <laughs> moving something else now that's not helpful eh? not that I really need to be doing this you guys would be just fine with the way things were. But, there we go. Whatever. It's fine. You're gonna live with this. You're gonna like it, Mr. Cunningham. <clears throat> oh. I keep not seeing all the little Pokemon. Oh, I don't think I have a Metapod yet. Get ready. There we go. Yeah, I got a Metapod. Did you get the Pokeball Plus, Mr. Cunningham? I don't know how much you're into Pokemon, but I do recommend it because the sound effects are great. I do kind of like it, but I also kind of have to have skill now, and I don't know how I feel about that. Sometimes I'm not very good at throwing Pokeballs, as you saw from my attempt to, uh... To get that, uh, whatever it was that I was fighting the first. Bellsprout. Yeah, this is great. Alright, I don't want a bell sprout in my party. <laughs> I liked it, right? I liked it a lot. I don't know what that says about me. It's not always the easiest to use when you're actually doing menu type stuff. That would be my one complaint with the Pokeball Plus. Come on. Come on. Like it's not letting me hit. Remove from party. There we go. Uh, 
Uh, who do I want to put in? I Remind me, what do Kakuna and Metapod turn into? Which one do I want? Beedrill or the Butterfly, right? Beedrill, Butterfly. Let's get an angry bee. Generally, I choose my party based on who's more adorable. Which works so far. Oh, hey. Bug catcher Brian. A Weedle, I'm so concerned. And I should not have my head there for the battle. There's really no good place to put my face. That's what I thought. Good. Alright, let's, let's have a different Pokemon. I've only been fighting with Eevee. Does Mew have actual attacks? I don't think it does. I'll have Pikachu. It is a pretty game. Fight. Let's electrocute him. Not that bugs are particularly weak against electricity, but you're using Pikachu. I hear you, Ryan. It's kind of nice to go back to an old game where there are fewer Pokemon and fewer types. Just, oh, I'm poisoned though. Bummer. Since I played yellow, and then I didn't play one for a really long time until I got Pokemon Y. And I enjoyed it, but I only like just beat it last, like a few months ago. <laughs> I think I beat it in the spring. So I'm a little bit late to the Pokemon party. Did I already fight you? Yeah. So I think... And Ryan, you've probably been watching the Power Couple play um, a bunch of this, so you can correct me if I'm wrong. When the Pokemon have like the little swirls, like you can see the Pidgey in the upper left corner with the red swirls. That means it's extra large or extra small, right? And I think Pokemon's just a very pleasant franchise. And that's why I want Andy to watch this stream, because I think he should get it to play with uh, his girls. I think they would enjoy it a bunch. Because they like watching mom and dad play. But... <clears throat> It's hard to find a game that is skill-appropriate <laughs> for young girls. Alright. Oh, I forgot to check if Pikachu is still poisoned. I don't remember if it... It has a very human-looking foot for uh, Eevee. Yeah, I don't know how to identify the shinies. I caught one that was in like a blue swirl, and I think it said it was tiny. Ah. Good old Final Fantasy. <laughs> you upgraded there. <laughs> Party. 
How? Oh yeah, okay. He's still poisoned. So I should give him something. How excited are you, Ryan, for all the Final Fantasies coming out on the Switch? Anti Oh, I should probably, like, check how to even catch Pokemon with this. <laughs> I might not be doing it right. I'm probably doing it right. I'm just bad at it. Oh, wait. This one. And I know I can capture those things, give the extras to the professor, and get candy, but I don't know what the purpose of getting candy is really. Hello. <gasps> Whoa! We're just gonna capture you. Alright. Um. Ooh, but he's hard to catch. Let me give you a berry. My goodness! Stop moving! You jerk wasp! Oh! No. Let me give you another berry. Drill. Ah, uh, huh? Come on. Stop. Oh, so close. Fine. Fine, B drill. I didn't want you anyway. I'll just evolve you like other people. You can never have too many Pokeballs, so I need to go buy more. Yes, 10 and 10 too! I love those ones. Yeah. It's hard not to own multiple copies of Final Fantasy. I have a problem with that. I don't know if Bulbasaur appear in this forest. That bee was a jerk. He was all flying around and then just ran away. Oh, look how cute the Nidoran is! Aww. Little cute face. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's get... I want to start, you know changing up my party a little bit. I don't know if they follow exactly the same rules for leveling up. And so the one- why did I go to Kakuna? I really thought I hit Radita. Well this was dumb. You. Yes. Yeah. I don't know how many copies of Final Fantasy VI I've gotten over the years. <clears throat> Quick attack. But like you say, the original Super Nintendo one, I guess my brother has. I don't know where it is. The PlayStation version... Actually, my friend Andy, who's watching, he might have the PlayStation version of it, I'm not sure. So. Do, 
But I have to decide, I'm still on the fence, whether I want to immediately get Smash Brothers or if I want to wait. Because that's just a few days away, whereas Final Fantasy we all have to wait much, much longer. <laughs> that would be nice, because I don't really need, like, a fancy graphic remix. But Octopath graphics were so pretty. So this is how you do two-player, by the way. If you shake a Joy-Con when it's not attached, you can play with your partner. But I don't know, um... Quite how to do that yet. There we go. So there's my partner. He's got a Pikachu. He can't do anything. So that's why it's a good thing that you can play with kiddos, because they can just run around and run into things, and they won't really, uh... They won't really hurt your game. So you don't have to get frustrated with them. Okay, how do you leave? You probably just leave. I'm just gonna wait for you to disappear. <clears throat> Any Pokemon I don't have down there? I think I've got them all. Oh, you've got your pre-order for Smash. Yeah. I'm really, really tempted to do it. The story for Octopath, Mr. Cunningham... How far... Well, before I start talking, how far have you gotten Ryan? Uh, have you beaten the story with Octopath yet? I don't want to, like, spoil anything accidentally. Oh, my support trainer! I'm gonna have to play as him now. Oh, shoot. <clears throat> yeah, there is no overall plot. That's for sure. Oh, I don't want to do mirror move. Whoops. Okay. Uh, oh, that's Andy saying something. He's gotta go do other stuff. Bye, Andy! He saw the two-player demo, so that's good. Thanks for watching. Right, and I, I do definitely agree with you there, Mr. Cunningham. It is very compartmentalized, and so even though I enjoyed playing it, <clears throat> it, it is less satisfying than other RPGs. Um, but I know that there's some after-story stuff, <clears throat> and so... I haven't gotten very far in the post-game, but I think they do some more connective stuff. And I, yeah, it's like, it's not exactly what I wanted. I wish the characters did engage more. It still kind of feels awkward how they hang out, um, but they are sweet. Uh, I do enjoy the characters. So, there's that. <laughs> and that's true. But most of the characters I liked. Let's see, how do I go? Oh, that's not how I go. <sighs> yeah, I don't think there were any characters I completely disliked. I did find some of the players, um, or some of the characters not very useful in fighting, so I ended up never using them. I'm trying to get rid of my player too. Uh, go away player two. I don't want you here. Mostly because you don't exist. Yeah. 
So which one, now I have to ask, which ones are your favorites? Which ones are your least favorite? Both in terms of story and in terms of gameplay, because I would say those are different for me. Like, I liked um, the thief story all right, but I did not find him useful to have in the party. <sighs> Extra jobs, that was sweet. I was glad that they, um... Was it the same people who did Bravely Default, or did it just remind me so much of Bravely Default that I see that it is? Okay, there you go. <clears throat> I just want to move you guys around. Move. Let Pikachu be the star of the show for a while. He's used to that. Oh. Yeah, you're sweet, Mew. I didn't mean to talk to you, but you're sweet. I like you. Yep, you're weak, kid. You're weak. Oh, I just stepped on that bell sprout. I don't even want to capture you. And so I think this is the part where I get annoyed, like, can I just kill you? <laughs> oh, her story broke my heart. Like, I played hers first because I played the demo. Uh, she wasn't my main in Octopath, but... Oh my goodness, her story just actually made me cry on several occasions. So, I will give that for Primrose. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> it was very uncomfortable. <laughs> Which, I mean, it was supposed to be uncomfortable. Olmark's pretty solid, you know. Um, my main was uh, the scholar, Cyrus, obviously, because I'm a huge nerd. Um, and his is alright. Yeah, Olmark is a great fighter. I started really using his super move. I don't remember what they call it, but like that ultimate thing that takes up three hits. I started using that a ton, and I use whatever the ability is that you can get over 9,999 damage, and so that combination really helped me make it through the game. He was so willing to forgive, which was sweet. Why did I capture that Caterpie? I don't care. <laughs> I like the pirates, though. In the story. So that's fun. Any story where I can get some pirates is pretty good. I thought Ophelia's story was a little weak. Like, okay, go around. Yeah, Therion, I think, was my... Therion or... The Apothecary were my least favorite to use in battle. And it's true. I mean, she's just a kid. She just wants to go on an adventure. It's not, like, a riveting emotional story. She's okay in battle. You know. Well, she didn't really ha Yeah, I think she just didn't really have strong goals. Her goal was to see the world. And she did. Good for you, Tressa. 
and understand the true meaning of treasure. The other merchant had a much more compelling story. The one- actually, you're not that far enough. So, I'm not gonna tell you about- I mean, you've probably met the other... Thief. I mean, um... The other merchant. But... You haven't seen his full story, so... He was more interesting. I like that, Mr. Cunningham. She's an Instagram travel blogger. Pretty much. That's why she, like, steals people's diaries. Sells it. In other places. <clears throat> I like- I think Alfin's voice actor in the Japanese is my favorite voice actor. Um, and, you know, it sounded familiar when I was playing it, and then I saw the credits, and I was like, Tomokazu Seki? That was Tomokazu Seki? Back from the days when I watched a lot of anime. Yeah, the rival Ali, right? Ali, Prince Ali. Wait, what? Throw a Pokeball to hit the center. Right. Yeah, the voices are great. Um, I listen to it in Japanese because I'm a nerd like that, and I like languages. Oh, no! Oh. There are so many, but here's a huge caterpie, so let's capture it. Alright. Ah! I feel betrayed, caterpie. Okay. See you soon, Ryan. Oh, good. Catch combo. I think I have to catch like 30 to. Oh, I ran into that bee drill, which is kind of terrifying because this is giant. It's a tiny bee drill, apparently, though. Still looks huge to me. Ready? I'm gonna capture this one. Oh, moved. Come on. Are you gonna run away too? Beedrill. Oh, that was a bad throw. That was on me. You gonna do it? Stay in the ball! Oh, now it's personal. Now I'm not letting you get away. Use. Get ready. Alright. Gotta study its motions, its movements. Yeah. Really far away there. All right. Ha ha! I caught you. I'm never letting you out of your Pokeball because you're just gonna run away from me. I think everybody gained a level or two. That's impressive.
Yeah. Little Pokemon pixels are super cute. The art style in these games is just, it's very nice. Alright. <clears throat> oh! Apparently I'm gonna play with Shadow. Hi, Shadow! I don't remember how to play with you. Hi! Oh, don't frown, no! How do I, uh, give you some fruit? I want to give you the food. Look at how happy he is. I can't work this ball that well. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> no, I wanted to... Party. You... Okay, go back. Go back. Bag. Go back. No? Yeah, this one. Uh uh. Uh 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 uh. Pokemon box. You. Remove from party. You. Add to party. Excellent. I want to catch the big Pidgey. Pidgey. I like birds, unlike some people. Not in the way that Mr. Cunningham likes birds. But I like birds. <laughs> yeah, you heard me, Mr. Cunningham. Uh-huh. There we go. Yay, Pidgey! Good. I want my Beedrill to gain some levels. Visit Professor Oak at his research lab to help him check your progress on your Pokédex. <clears throat> okay. Hello. Hello. Hey, wait up! What's the hurry? Why the rush? Oh, a Metapod. However will I win? Undershot. not always the best controller, but it's so much fun that it's worth it. You do have to be extra careful. Thundershock. Sweet! At least they give me Pokeballs when I win. Leaving Viridian Forest. Pewter City! You know what that means. 
Have you noticed the skinny trees? I almost thought he said skinny jeans. Have you noticed all these kids these days wearing skinny jeans? Back in my day. That's not, that's not what this guy's talking about, okay. I see. The skinny trees on the roadside. <clears throat> they can be chopped down with a secret technique called chop down. I hear. <coughs> Nobody can ever say that Pokemon is vague. It is very clear about all the important things. Captain Vatican? Oh. Someone's playing some Kingdom Hearts. Nice. Sorry. Chop down. There's also cut that cuts down trees, but maybe they changed it to chop down? <gasps> Mew! 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 Me aw mew Aw yay You like my battle vigor The higher the Pokemon CP combat power Okay that's good to know If only in forests and caves you need to be persistent like everywhere I'm pretty persistent about finding Pokemon I want to check summary because if this is a really big one for nature mild level six so six somewhat stubborn okay I don't care that much I don't think this game is supposed to be hard so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry too much. Oh. I thought we were like at Viridian or at Pewter City. Never mind. Hey Ryan, welcome back. We're just still doing this thing. So the red means that they're extra large. And the blue means they're extra tiny. I've captured all of you. Ooh, a Pokeball! Oh, here's Pewter City. Hey, it's Mr. Cunningham! My rival! Oh, now I have to sound like you. Mr. Cunningham, will you just, like, read these lines for me? Just send them over. I can't impersonate you. Your voice is too smooth. Hey, nice. I was hoping we'd run into each other. <clears throat> you know, there's a Pokemon gym up this way, right, Interceptor? I think I'm, like, part doing you and part doing your voice of... Uh, Zoo, Shuzu. Just mispronounce everything. <laughs> nah. <laughs> you can battle against the gym leader there, and he's seriously strong. If you want to get stronger, you definitely gotta try to take him on. Huh. Gee, Shadow. You're ready for a good battle, too, huh? Yeah. Zuzen from Shadow Hearts. <laughs> Who wouldn't be? Alright then, you're making me want to cheer you guys on too, so take these. You're giving me stuff. Thanks for the potions, Mr. Cunningham. I bought some for you with the prize money I've been earning in all my battles. I am not that nice. Wow. I feel like a jerk. I should have got him something. Beat the gym leader interceptor and you can call yourself a true trainer. Give it your best. <laughs> that was a little bit of a humble brag, but he got me a present out of it. 
Okay, yeah, they do get more XP. <clears throat> now look at my Mew! My Mew is just so happy and cute. Mew! Oh, hey! Yeah, I bet you have a lot of energy. You're like a cosmic force. You should be careful with your money. Don't go blowing it all in one place. But it's also fun sometimes to buy a whole bunch of Pokeballs at once. Ha ha ha. Sometimes it's necessary, too. Aww. I want one of the... Bow Can I have it? Need a round. Sit. I'll capture one. We got our Pokemon in a trade. So it's fake and hard to handle. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't mind my yawning. I was listening to Mr. Cunningham play Persona at 5 a.m. And then I went to sleep, but... Pokemon that you get from trades grow faster, but they won't listen to a weak trainer in battle. Oh, if only we had some gym battles. Badges. Oh my goodness. You live in town with a gym master. Just go beat him. Can't be that hard. I think I'm gonna go beat him. That's my plan. And for some reason now I have that music stuck in my head. Which is... From Donkey Kong Country. There aren't many serious Pokemon traders here in Pewter City. They're all bug catchers and the like. You know, just hobbyists. Bug catchers. Gross. The Brock of the Pewter City Gym isn't like that. Not one bit. He uses rock type. I saw that in the anime. Yes, I would like to rest my Pokemon. Yeah, Ryan, it's not really too hard to um, get through the trainer so that you don't have misbehaving Pokemon, thankfully. But I can see if somebody's like trying to grind and catch all the Pokemon and get some things for trade that, you know, those levels might go up. Because levels do go up pretty fast, too. I don't know where the serious Pokemon trainers have... Um, hang out. Team Rocket? Oh, no! They have been known to steal people's Pokemon and use Pokemon for evil deeds. Please stay away from anyone who has a big R on their club. <laughs> to our readers who are strong trainers, please do not respond to any attempts they might make to recruit you. Yeah, I agree. That's one of the nice things about Pokemon, the series. Um, the Elite Four, I pretty much always have trouble with, or whatever end boss rush there is, but otherwise, <clears throat> um, they're pretty... They're not difficult. I guess you could say Pokemon is as difficult as you want to make it. You know, if you want to not follow type differences, if you want to go really fast or whatever, um, you can make it hard. Oh yeah, Pokemon are like the commodity. Um... Do I want some? I want some. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna take it. Pewter Crunchies. I feel like I just got ripped off. But it's medicine, so... I really want a Pikachu, so I'm trading my Clefairy for one. Do you, do you want my Pikachu? No, you're just telling me that I can trade online. Okay. Yeah. Or you could do what I did, because I'm the cruelest Pokemon trainer, and Pokemon retain experience even if they die. 
So you just throw them at the boss over and over and over until they get strong enough to win. What? Team Rocket is at Mount Moon? I'm on the phone, scram! Oh, are you like, undercover cop? Cool. A rock type Pokemon user. Grass and water. I, I guess I have grass technically, but I don't want to use Bellsprout. So I guess I'm not going to pay any attention to type differentials this time. Do you know what I'm doing? Nope. Oh, okay. Lure. Are you also doing lure? Just gonna guess. Repel to keep them out of your flowers. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was coming from Final Fantasy 2 Pokemon, so level grinding seemed to make sense. <laughs> Uh, at the time. <laughs> I am a trainer. Rock's looking for new challengers. Follow me. Oh. Oh, they just popped me right over there. Well, do you think I've got the right stuff? Should I take on Brock? Save. Who do I want to go up first? I don't have any good type against him, but I don't think I have any bad type. Flying! Wait, stone is good against flying, right? So I shouldn't start with Pidgey. I'll start with Eevee. Come on, Eevee. Ooh. Showing me the scene. Hiya. You're here to challenge the gym, aren't you? I'm not a trainer, but I can tell if you're worthy of challenging the gym leader. Now let's get started. The Pewter City Gym only allows trainers who know tight matchups to enter. Uh oh. There are a few types that have an advantage against gym leaders' rock type Pokemon. For trainers who have never challenged a gym before, you have to use either grass or water type. You have to show me your grass or water type if you want to face the gym leader. Um. No. Endless Beedrill somehow counts. But I don't think he does. <sighs> Fine. Yeah, you're right. FF8 is uh, works on a different system. All right, come back, Bell Sprout. Are you my highest Bell Sprout? Five, five. Oh, there's just one here. Seven. Um, I think flying? Oh, well, I want to get your levels up. I'll let Pidgey go for now. Oh, keep going back. Yep. Here you go! I mean, that makes sense because of Cunningham. Generally, they, they do have a sort of logic, which is what helps me remember. Usually. Alright. Why are they different? Are they not humans? Nicker Mara. Hey Geodude. Aww. So cute. 
I don't think... Despite what the anime teaches you, I don't think Pikachu can defeat everything. Oh, that did like nothing. So normal, not good against Rock. We will switch you out. Come on, Bellsprout. I don't want to use you. Hey, Lazy! How's your Sunday going, sir? Oof. Alright. Vine Whip. Well, I guess Bellsprout's gonna be doing everything for me in this. doubt I'm really all that different because you tell people to go to Pallet Town to get the Pokemon and that means they're gonna be bringing in a Bellsprout. Stream son. Yeah, stream nephew! Lazy! You're my stream brother-in-law, Mr. Cunningham. I don't know if you knew that. This doesn't do anything. Um, I want to move you in my party. <laughs> uh, party. Here we go. All right. It is snowing here, stream nephew. But I think the snow is done, but it's very Christmassy. Camper Liam. Another Geodude. Hey, Stardust! I hope you're feeling okay. Aww. Yeah, my little Vine Whip's gonna beat you up. Lots of fluids and crackers and things. Of course! Gotta watch out for my stream sister. Not as hot as Brock. Oh, we'll we'll see. All right, Brock. What do you got? So you're here. I'm Brock, Pewter City's gym leader. You can see just by looking at my Pokemon how rock hard my willpower is. My Pokemon are all hard as rock and have true grit determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all rock types. Fohaha! You're going to challenge me even knowing that you'll lose? That's what a trainer's honor demands. So be it. Show me your best. R. I don't know why he's transforming there, but we go with it. Pumpkin! Yeah, pumpkin! 
Lichtenbrock. I remember meeting him. Alright, fine with. Oh, he's actually gonna fight back. Oh, bold move. I think I'll be able to beat you with one more hit, though. Good. Now I'll have to use a potion. Oh, onyx. I so want an onyx. Can I steal his onyx while he's battling, please? Oh my goodness, my little plant cannot defeat that. That is false. He's just gonna eat me. Oh, he threw a rock on my head. That hurt. Oh no! No! <coughs> Mine is Sand Slash. Um, Alright, we're just gonna have to do a... Slow... Painful march here. But... Maybe my quick attack will be fast enough. It won't be effective. Ooh, how is fighting types against rock? Well, at least he can withstand that a lot better. I think double kick is fighting. That's pretty good. It's super effective, apparently. Lucario's cool design. I don't know if I remember for Alligator, but it sounds like one I would find very cute. And I mostly base my opinions off their cuteness. Machamp, nice. Probably. Oh yeah, who cares about Growl? Get rid of it. I never use the stat attacks in Pokemon. I'm too brutal for that. Seems I underestimated you. 2,000 bucks, almost. It's proof of your victory. Take an official Pokemon League badge. A Boulder badge. Yeah! The Boulder badge. Pokemon up to level 20 from other trainers will listen to you without question. Oh, and wait. Take this with you, too. Headbutt. Cool. Can you be- oh, here we go. If you use a TM or technical machine, you can teach your Pokemon the move within it. The TM can be used as many times as you like, so use it on any Pokemon you want. Sweet! But I want a rock Pokemon. May I have your Onyx? Oh yeah, you want to be a Pokemon breeder. I forgot about that. What is that thing in the bottom left corner? What is my Eevee doing? I... Do... Shadow? Do you have something that you need? Oh, you're exhausted. Aww. Yeah. Don't be exhausted, buddy. Oh, why are you sad? Why are you sad? Yeah, see, look. 
Good. Good, easy. Feeling better now, buddy? Poke your ear. Poke, poke, poke. Poke, poke, poke. Poke your little foot. Little foot. Okay. <sighs> oh, okay. Then I must have had that, because I'm pretty sure I used Totodile as a starter. I think. It's a really cute crocodile, so... Alright. You, I'm taking out. Oh, nope. Remove. And put back in. send some of these people back to send to the professor to the level seven. how did I get three bell sprouts that's a lot of bell sprouts What did I get? Give me some candy. So maybe that's where... You know, I was talking about my Pokemon experience before. And I started... After I beat Pokemon Y, I went back and got Pokemon Silver. So maybe my Totodile was the starter for that. Maybe that's what I chose. I might just have not gotten it to a fair alligator yet. That could be what's happening. Hey, you there, newbie. Who's talking? Don't tell me. You've got to be Interceptor, right? I am. That's amazing. I'm just going to be, like, amazed at everything. Ha! I knew it. I'm always right. I'm Blue, the jerk from the first game. I heard from my gramps that two new kids set out from Pallet Town to become trainers, and I'm going to kill them, just like I did once. So I came to check you out. Look at his eyes! His eyes are just evil! Okay. I was thinking you might want some advice on how to beat the gym from an expert trainer like me. But looks like I showed up too late, huh? Seems you're not too shabby yourself. So I guess you've earned a reward, newbie. People in the Pokemon world are so generous. They will just keep giving you stuff. They're like, oh, you talk to me. Have an antidote. Okay, thanks. Five great balls. Nice. Aww. Yeah. And I think that's why I like Sans Shrew and Sand Slash so much. You know, they're from the original game. And I don't know how early I caught them, but, I mean, they're just so cute, and they're normal type, and sand, ground. They're normal and ground, I think. And they're just, they're just sweet. And I think they get a lot of disrespect from people, but they're cool. That's a Pokedex, right? So Graham's finally went and made one. Well, didn't you give one to you in red? 
He used to just make me scribble on a map with a pencil about where I encountered Pokemon. You better do a good job helping me out. He may be Professor Oak to you, and sure. He's an old coot, but he's still my gramps. S smell you later, newbie. I'm glad that they have a little cameo from Blue. That's fun. Oh, I want it! Have you heard the stories that say Clefairy came from the moon? People started seeing that after moonstones fell on Mount Moon. You know, that could be it. <gasps> Being all butterfree! Aw, and a slow poke. Ooh. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> nope, that's not weird. Oh dear, what am I supposed to do with you, Slowpoke? Probably not much. Oh, hello there. Do you think you could do me a favor? Maybe. I want to go to the pu museum, but my dear Slowpoke here is just refusing to budge. Oh. Do you think you could keep an eye on my dear Slowpoke for a while? Uh, sure. Thank you very much. In that case, please keep my dear Slowpoke company for a little while. Or we're gonna be doing this now. Everybody relax. Enjoy the Slowpoke. Super cute. <laughs> Slowpoke is staring blankly ahead. Yep. That is what Slowpokes do. He spent a relaxing time with Slowpoke. Thank you for keeping an eye on dear Slowpoke. Here, this is for your trouble. A big pearl? Cool, what does that do? what we just did and it's not like slowpoke's gonna move that quickly i could have sat down too i would love if it, if you could keep an eye on slowpoke again sometime can you just put him in a pokeball like everybody else for a little while just saying ah this is where she was hello Fifty dollars. Fine, I got plenty of money. Yeah, exactly, Brian. Like, <laughs> good old slowpoke, dependable slowpoke. Sweet. Can I also buy stuff at their gift shop? Oh, this is where I get the um fossil, isn't it? <laughs> I would not like that, but I'm not a Pokemon. <laughs> she could also just leave the Pokemon in her house or somewhere. Not in public property. Kabutops. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is way cooler than it looked in the original game. Look at how cool this is. I should be grateful for my long life. Never did I think I would get to see the bones of a dragon. Yeah, I know, right? Not quite a dragon, but pretty close. Kabuki! Ha! I might go for the Kabutops this time. So I gotta choose, right? Space Exit. Okay, that's a Moonstone. Hey, kid. Moonstone, huh? What's so special about it? Looks like an ordinary rock to me. But it's from the moon. Oh. <laughs> I would love a Kabuki Pokemon. Kinda fits. 
3D hologram, a map of the universe. Oh, look how cool that is. I want an Eevee, it's so cute. Daddy, can you please get one for me? I'll get you an Eevee soon, promise. I'm not giving you mine, though. Yes, thank you. Ooh, the little rocket! An old space shuttle. <laughs> I am really good at being gone. That's my potentially most effective move. I have like 50 SP in it. Cool. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like Sun and Moon got kind of close because there was there was some other world shenanigans going on. I wasn't entirely sure. But I don't think the player's actually been to space. Meteor. Cool. Ooh, a beautiful crystal. So does anybody in chat remember if I get the fossils now or later? And if I get them now, which one I should take? Because I think I want a Kabuto. Can I take a artifact from you? I paid fifty dollars. I'm guessing I get it later, or it's in the next room over. Oh, have to go up there somehow. I watched a couple people play through Moon. This is my sweet little free. When she walks with me, she sometimes finds items in the field. Yeah, I love it when my Pokemon do that. Make yourselves useful. Oh, speaking of, what did you find, Mew? Huh? What'd you find? A raspberry. Thanks. And this is, is this the Pokemart? No. It would be nice to have a jump button or a climb button. Anything like that. Alright, okay, I can get great balls now. How many do I have? I'll buy six of these. Oh, not 47. And I'll buy just one more great ball. Potion. I have seven potions still. But I should get some more antidotes. I remember one time, and it's like a family reunion or something, and my younger nephew. We got him playing... Um, ooh, here we're getting the, the fancy stuff. Uh, we had him playing Zelda 2, and he was obsessed with the jump mechanic. It's a very weird memory that I have, but we thought it was really funny. I know, but I'm so anxious. What if I don't uh, get much money? I was always, um, I'm always anxious in Pokemon games about my money, because you can't just grind for it. You have to, and, and I have a total of six now of, of the Pokemon things. Flying with a chicken. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. Fine, I'll buy a couple more Great Balls, because they're going to be useful in the long run. You're right. I've been convinced. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks for being a voice of logic against my... Wait, I didn't buy them. But, 
that's it for now. We'll save the next 2,000. It's that RPG anxiety. Like, I have to save this money, I have to save these items. It might come in handy later. It's hard. It's hard to get out of that mindset. Shady old guy sucky, suckered me into buying this weird Pokemon. What is it? Should I buy it? Can I buy it from you? Fine. <laughs> exactly, lazy. Uh, it's so refreshing. Pewter City stays lovely and cool since it lies at the base of the mountain. Hey, Geo. Do you prefer dude? Dude, you prefer dude. Dude. I did? Yeah, the display of fossils was really something. I love it. <laughs> I actually, I don't think I ever bought my house in that game. I think I just didn't. <laughs> I was so bad at that game. I love that game. It's so fun. Oh. That's, that's a lot lazy. You're gonna buy a lot if you do that. Thieves stealing valuable Pokemon fossils. Okay. You have already talked with. You took me to the gym. I know, right? And I knew about it. And my friend Andy, who was watching earlier, he got the house... Like, really early on. Um, and invested a lot into it. I maybe bought it. But it did not make an impression. As you can tell. <laughs> it is really nice to have unlimited bombs in that game. Throw a Pokeball and get him right in the center. It's true. Pokemon are never a true thing. Okay, every new playthrough you get everything. Do you do 100% then, Lazy, on every Fallout run through? You do? That's a lot. Yeah, you're a cutie. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry about your bear accident. We'll pour one out for you, nephew. Paddler moves as they grow. Yep. Okay. I have a TM headbutt. Man, that's a Breath of the Wild's a really fun Zelda game. I really enjoyed it. Oh, I need to know cut or chop down. I need to know chop down. How do I learn chop down? TM case. All I have is headbutt. Anybody want it? Everybody can learn it. Even B drill. Let's give it to B drill. Why not? That'll be fun. My B just flying around headbutting people. That sounds entertaining. Okay, yeah. So did you get all the Korok seeds and everything like that? <laughs> Lazy, I'm sorry that I'm laughing, but that is really funny that you ran into a tree and then the bear ate you. <laughs> That shouldn't be so funny, but it's hilarious. Hey, 
Hey, train with me. Oh, you're a new trainer. I'm a coach trainer. Oh, coach trainers are the ones who stand in various places to train trainers. I'm one of them. Your coach trainers are strong. If you want to try out your strength, you should definitely battle us. Oh. Oh, I'm going to talk to Mew instead. Look how happy Mew is. But you can buy one of everything. That's something you can do. I would like to battle. Yeah, um, I agree with that, Ryan. Just exploring, you really do find most of the Korok seeds. I, um... I don't know how many I ended up having. Leech seed? That's useful. You just want to look nice. You're a slave to fashion. I get it. This is not a, a useful matchup at all. I'm gonna switch out my poor Radita. How is flying? None of my Pokemon are very good about this. Hmm. How does, how does Gus do? Like, I don't have any fire Pokemon. That was good. <laughs> Watch you end up right into the den. Here lies Lazy. Got eaten by bears. Whew. That was hard though. Mostly because I had no idea what was going to be effective first of all. Yay! Yes, definitely. Um, what does... Is sand attack just... No, it is a physical attack. Okay, nope. We want to keep that then, for sure. Mirror move? That sounds- oh. That sounds like something that... is questionable. <laughs> Food to bears! <sighs> I'm using my yawn again. Super effective. I'm glad I'm good. Thousand dollars. Ooh, revive. Nice. Speaking of, I should go heal my Pokemon before I do this business.
Pokey Center. Oh, there you are. <laughs> That'd be sweet if you could ride bears. I have a feeling it's more realistic than that, but that'd be sweet. I don't want to see you in the front. Like a childhood dream. Just watch me do Mew's thing. <laughs> a bull? That's still pretty cool. I did look at you. I even said hello. I mean, a bull, technically, you could tame maybe enough to ride if you're really good. <clears throat> Can you do anything? Pound. Yeah, let's do that. Aww. I want to get my Mew to level like 99. It's gonna be my new goal for this game. I'm not mean. It's just a Pokemon battle, Janice. Why are you gonna be like that? You have over $300? Like real dollars? Or like Red Dead dollars? Because if they're real dollars, I know exactly what you can do. You can donate to, uh, what is my current. It's a children's miracle hospital. Extra life. You can donate to that if you have 300 real dollars. Red dead dollars, okay. I don't know, lose it all at poker. Yeah, I know, right? I'm not gonna stare at your shorts. I might judge your shorts. Have fun, Ryan! Enjoy small group. Oh, Spiro, I haven't seen one yet. Yeah. <laughs> there's there's that option too. Sorry, Calvin. You look really upset, and I'm sorry. Yes. Thank 
you. Another Pokeball. Ooh. That sounds like a good idea. Long range shooting. That would be very useful. Hello, another trainer. Okay. You can battle me with whichever Pokemon you would prefer. why, but Nina Ran and Nina Rina and all those, they're just so cute. The little versions. Their final forms, eh. Oh, a hat. What kind of hat are you gonna buy? You can go for the big old cowboy hat, or a sombrero, or a top hat, a newsy hat. There are a lot of hat options in the world. <gasps> Alright. I would really like to capture them. Yeah, I know, there was, there was no circle there. That was on you. <laughs> I go that way, whoops! At least I got him that time. Sweet. I definitely want to see the hat. worse. It's not possible. It's possible. You know what, Ekans? I really want you. So here, have a raspberry. Oh. Rude! Oh, super rude, Ekans. <laughs> Seriously, he was not having it. I got him that time. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna replace somebody in my party with him then. I like snakes, so we're gonna put him in my party. I don't think I really want you. Remove. Head the phone. Good. And then on this one. <clears throat> Move. We'll put Ekans in the front. Very nice. Do you think that was very nice? I did not push you. Maybe. Robin. Oh, you got one of those cuties. Wrap, Poison Sting. Let's try Poison Sting. Although I think Nidoran is also Poison. So yeah. Not the most effective. I don't know if anything I have is the most effective. <clears throat> we'll just try to paralyze you then. Hmm, 
Jewel Tail. Wrap. So useful. Let's get out. Pikachu. How is your thunder shot? Yeah, pretty good. Okay. Oh, that Rattata just attacked me. I have no interest in you. Ooh. Oh, hey, baby. shorts. I guess I am wearing them, though. Youngster Ben! How will you do with Fenna? Or Acid? a pretty good hit. I was also pretty good. We were probably poisoned now. Still not gonna kill me though. I didn't mean to use Leer. Well that was dumb. I don't think we're gonna survive another one. I should get PG. the animations and everything are just so good. I thought Sand Attack actually did damage. Oh my goodness. I'm losing my mind, guys. Oh, okay. Can you whisper the image to me, or... Something something? Pay attention. Discord. Okay. Let me get that out. Alright. Before the hat. With the hat. Whoa! That is a very fitting hat for your character. I love it. That is very snazzy. I I I approve your hat.
Let's get to it right away. Oh, this kid. This kid is ready for business. Bug catcher Greg. I don't remember if Kakuna can do anything useful. I don't think it can though. I think I'll be okay. Get my Ekin strength. Use some rap goodness. Yeah, it did. You know, he's got some class. why sometimes I'm just like stubborn. I'm gonna use this Pokemon to get through this battle. Like it or not. Oh, he's so gonna die. <laughs> it's the truth. Internet trying to shut your fashion down. I feel like I should probably- I'll, I'll finish fighting people up the way. That tunnel from Cerulean City takes a lot out of you. That's true. Now this is Route 4. <gasps> There's a Pokemon Center there. That'll be where I stop them. Let's fight these good dudes. Yeah. Yeah, I think I was pretty hard though, so... Pretty cute. Look at these normal types. I also like that I'm just holding my controller like this. Like... This is very easy on your hands. Nintendo's always so good at that. Why did I attack? Meowth is gonna kill me. That was me just enjoying the feel of this new little controller. Nintendo did such an awesome job with the Switch. Just, just saying. Man, he's hitting me with a lot of money, though. I hope I get rich from this battle. Yeah, look at that. Super effective. Oh, good. 
A purple bandana. How fabulous. Payday? Oh. I don't want to spend my money doing that. Because <laughs> it must come from your money. I tripped over Geodude. I think it's... Oh, I guess if he's... If you think he's a rock. <gasps> Check out that Meowth sleeping on top of the ruins. Aww. Hey, Meowth. I'll catch you, Meowth. I would like you to. Came to Mount Moon from far away because I want a Pokemon I can ride on. Yes, I would love to ride around on an Onyx. An escape rope. That's also useful. Okay, let's just talk to the NPCs, see if they'll give me anything. And then we'll wrap it. <clears throat> Thank you all so much for joining me, but particularly thank you for helping me get to affiliate status. It was nice to have a little celebratory stream here. Um, if you're liking it, please, yeah, Poke Stream, Poke Celebration Stream, uh, a magic heart for 500, nope. I don't like your face. Team Rocket attacking the good people. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, feel free to... If you're not already a follower, hit the follow button. Join our Discord. Check me out on other social media. And those kinds of things. <gasps> Jigglypuff, that's my dad's favorite Pokemon. Hey, aren't you cute? Did I fall asleep listening to him? Yep, okay. Yeah, I like it. That was funny. What's that little Eevee icon in the corner doing? I don't understand that. I'm gonna have to look that up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry you fell asleep, Mew. When you try to catch a Pokemon, you see a green ring. Easy to catch. Yep. Alright. Thanks. Follow. Join me on Discord with other people. Thanks for hanging out, Lazy, Mr. Cunningham, Ryan from earlier. Uh, you guys are all best. So I hope you have a good rest of your weekend, and I will catch your streams later. Um, and I'm gonna try and make sure that my Switch will go through to my TV and stop being finicky. But anyway, until next time, Interceptor out!